Good morning, everyone. So as he mentioned, I'm Mark Anthony Thomas. I'm the Senior Vice President of Partnerships at New York City Economic Development Corporation. And so I actually want to tell you this morning really just a full overview of the New York City tech scene, uh, what I do at EDC, why our role is important to the city, uh, and really how you can support the tech scene, New Yorkers, and, and the future of the city. So this image you see behind you, this is a photo of our Made in New York City campus. It's a $130 million investment that's being made, and it really represents the work that EDC leads. And so we manage the city's largest portfolio of real estate, and we're tasked with really leveraging that real estate to support economic growth. And about 10 years ago, uh, New York really aggressively looked at, okay, we're emerging sectors. How do we support tech? How do we support innovation? How do we support entrepreneurship? And when this opens in Brooklyn, this will be one of the largest hubs for film, creatives, uh, and people who are working within the creative tech space. Uh, as I mentioned, for about 10 years, EDC has been doing this work. We were early supporters of General Assembly and Flatiron School. We also were supporting, so, supporting social impact in other areas that really uh, created jobs and created a different type of tech scene for New York. On the infrastructure side, Tech talent is so important. We were early supporters of Columbia's Data Science Institute, and of course you all know about the Cornell Tech Campus, and so that actually sits on land that was procured by EDC to build the campus in New York. And it's, it's now created a $2 billion investment and will further grow the tech talent that's coming out of the city. So what is the state of the tech sector in New York? The last year has been a pretty big year for New York. Uh, I feel like we've gone from being a, a, a wannabe tech hub or, or, or an alternative to Silicon Valley to really being a bona fide global tech hub on its own. And so this is just one article that ran in February that highlights like people are actually paying attention to what we've built in New York. Um, we also see the venture numbers are reflecting a lot of interest in New York's t uh, tech startups and entrepreneurs. Last year there was over 13 billion in VC that flowed into New York. Uh, that was a record for the city. Uh, across the board, New York is still performing fairly well as far as its competitiveness against our international partner, against international competition. Uh, and we continue to be a leader for businesses that want to come to New York and for entrepreneurs that want to be here. Now, we have had some mishaps. <laughs> um, and so it hasn't all been perfect. Uh, <laughs> At the same time, even though HQ2 did not work out, Amazon still has 5,000 people in New York, and they will continue to grow. And I think being a part of the process taught me how to really be a, a, a true salesman for New York. And it taught me how tech companies really see the value of the city, even if the politics may not be favorable at all times. Um, this, is, this actually just happened this week. Uh, we do a lot at EDC to really support uh, international relationships and FDI intelligence, which is a wonky publication for people in the FDI foreign direct investment world, uh, honored our strategy as a top strategy in the Americas. And so it's a reflection that our effort to really make the city inclusive for global entrepreneurs is really starting to get noticed. If you follow uh, general ecosystem analysis, you may have heard of Startup Genome. And so every two years, they rank all of the global tech ecosystems. And New York has consistently been ranked number two behind Silicon Valley. And so I wanted to pull out some of the highlights from the report. And where we're strong, that does not mean that we're still not investing to make sure that we uh, continue to maintain that status or continue to make improvements. But in general, we're number two for startup output, we're number one for funding availability and quality. We're number one for local connectedness. And I think events like this contribute to that. Uh, we're number one for just tech talent and STEM education. And we're number one, even though that can be a good and bad thing, for what salaries that engineers get paid. Um, and broadly, Startup Genome found that the value of our tech ecosystem is around $64 billion. If you actually dig into the report, which is available online, it gives you a full analysis of where are the strongest subsectors 
And in New York, we see progress in AI and big data. Uh, EDC is making a significant investment in cybersecurity. And so that's starting to finally pay dividends as far as how we're ranked. Uh, we're making a $500 million investment as a city to grow life sciences and make sure that it actually is a viable hub. And so that is starting to actually make an impact on how we're perceived. Um, and it just gives you a full sense of where we're strong in areas that we as policy leaders and economic development leaders have to make progress. So why should you be in New York? If you're here, stay. If you're not, I want you to invest. <laughs> And the reason being, there are really three key things. New York has an inclusive tech ecosystem. If you look around the room, it is a reflection of that. Uh, and, and that by itself will give you a sense of just how different we are as a tech ecosystem. And people all over the world really are studying what we're doing to really replicate that approach to tech. Uh, we have an active support infrastructure. And if you're a founder, if you have a new idea, if you're a company looking to innovate, uh, you pretty much have all the tools and, and the ecosystem around you that can enable you to be successful. Uh, and the third is we're investing in the city's future. The one secret ingredient that we have that every other city would love to have is the type of capital that EDC and the city can really put toward the tech sector. There's nothing else that compares to that level. And so... When you think about future recessions, when you think of downturns, when you think of problems that may, uh, uh, that, that could derail our economy, we actually have the tools built into the city to really ramp and make sure that, that does not have too much of a dramatic impact on the city. I do want to give a, a quick shout out to Startup Guide. It's a collaboration that we worked on with SAP and Tech NYC. Um, but you can scoop up a copy here, and it gives you a full story of just the tech scene here in New York, and then how you can be a part of it. I'll highlight quickly the growth sectors. Um, we're investing over $1.3 billion over the next two years, which includes cybersecurity, life sciences, the made of New York City campus that I started the presentation with. Uh, but they fall within five key buckets. First, being tech. Second, industrial manufacturing. The third, life sciences and healthcare. Fourth, creative. And the fifth, in increasing space for startups and companies to grow. And some of these additional projects include a tech training center at Union Square, which will be really a front door for New Yorkers who want to get access to the tech sector. SOLSA, uh, which is a Tel Aviv-based uh, hub, will be uh, launching this fall with the New York City Global Cyber Center as part of our investment in cybersecurity. Uh, Alexandra is expanding their life sciences presence on the, uh, the east side of the city. If you go to the Brooklyn Navy Yard, there's a virtual reality, augmented reality lab that is run by NYU and the Media Lab. We just recently announced a $7 million investment to catalyze the funded effort in the world. Um, and so those are just examples of some of the things that we're working on. And how you can help is first, maintain or establish a presence here in New York. Second, really make sure your staff and your team and the groups that you support are diverse and represent the people of New York. And third, by partnering with each other and partnering with New York institutions to really sustain your effort here. So that's my presentation. Uh, if you email me or if you follow up, I can actually send you an overview of all of our different programs and how you can be involved. And that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wonderful. Um, and now that we've got, I mean, Mark is really an expert on what's going on in the New York City ecosystem, and through the EDC and my work with Mark, I've gotten 